Today we are at New Water Visitor Center, and uh, this is uh, we are we are here for a tour to find out about how new water is being filtered for consumption. It's actually a free guided tour, uh, and then there's actually a guide, and the duration is about one hour. All you need to do is go online to fill in a form and choose the date so that you can come down here for the tour. And then it's a free guided tour as well, so there's a few slot you can choose as well. So one thing we had to let you know that to come over this tour, try to drive over here. There's a free parking facility right over here and then taking public transport is okay but it's a really really long walk. Uh, so we'll just uh, suggest you to try to take the grab, taxi or drive over here will be the best. Yeah. So we'll show you how the tour looks like. Let's go.
it is really worth to visit this uh, visitor center. I learned a lot, and mm. this is a place suitable for kids, adult, elderly, and uh, handicapped. Yeah, so um, as mentioned earlier, the tour takes about one hour to complete and our tour guide Stella, she's very uh, knowledgeable and she's very detailed in her explanation and she makes the explanation very simple yeah. so that even your kids will understand with all the very interesting analogies like the size of the molecules, <laughs> uh, like a ping pong ball and then the virus like a truck or even a tall building. Yeah, for me it's like I'm happy like little hearing problem i totally can understand what stella talked about the speaker that she used is loud enough but if you have a hearing problem just try to stand nearer to them and then the facility inside the safety distance is quite safe for everyone Mm, yeah. yeah, and then uh, it's actually a very good way to learn about uh, water as one of the very uh, precious resource for Singapore. So for all Singaporeans or even for foreigners who wants to know a little bit about our, how uh, the success story of our conservation effort, right? You can actually come to New Water Visitor Center. I think it will be a very uh, enriching experience for you. Yeah, I do recommend uh, any one of you watching this video, if you have a chance to visit Singapore or residents here, to come by over here is a very good time for you to spend a weekend. It's free, it's a guided tour, and the facility inside is really up to date, although it's a very old facility here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and it's very comfortable. So, yeah, there's, so, uh, uh, there's also free parking, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, uh, but this place has got no cafe, no uh, place for you to buy drinking water. So, make sure you eat first and then you come over here. And then after that, you can watch our video about how Sean and I was, uh, myself play around the facility mm. after the theater video. Mm. And then what else? Mm. And uh, after the how you key in the pledge of the water facility right the, wa the water commitment wall yeah, yeah. so yeah i yeah. hope you like uh this video and then do continue to watch the following video and then we're going to say goodbye to you yeah if you have any questions just drop us in the comments below i know we also uh, post all the related information about new water visitor center in our description and then uh, we will see you in our next vlog we have already come in here at the uh, visitor center reception area so uh, before you enter the entrance uh, you are supposed to scan the safe entry code and after that you are supposed to come into the uh, reception area to take your temperature and thereafter register yourself as a guest and wait for your time slot so the guide will be here to receive you and to bring you about uh, to con uh, to bring you to the tour proper so this is the reception waiting area is actually very comfortable uh, it's air conditioned and there's a very nice uh, big space over here for you to take in the view before the tour starts so we are here after we have watched the short clip about water in Singapore at the uh, auditorium we are brought into this place called the water arcade uh, where there's actually inter interactive video Video to introduce to us the four national taps of water in Singapore and then there are some interactive stations around so there's this river expedition station which is currently um, under maintenance but it, if uh, it's running it will actually give you an experience of how it's like to actually sail through the reservoirs of Singapore onto Marina Barrage so I think it's a pretty cool experience and then water heroes over here allow us to do like an interactive kind of games so you can have a competition with your peers or your friends or your kids to collect water and rubbish so I think the top scorer will be the one who collected the most water droplets as well as the rubbish and then um, over here is just a ver an installation to show you like um, how much uh, how much water can we save if we do our water conservation efforts effectively and then there's also this um, some other installation over here to show you some of the fun facts like we use 141 liters of water per person per day so it's really to uh, let 
you know that you know it's actually important to help to conserve water which is a very scarce resource in Singapore then there are other facts here that is um, that is uh, peppered throughout this installation so uh, it's made very colorful engaging and in very short simple sentences because this place is also a place where kids actually receive their national education on water as a scarce resource in Singapore and I think there's a toilet somewhere here so you can actually it's actually behind the curtain so you can actually uh, take a toilet break here before we continue towards uh, the rest of the tour yep so this is the water arcade and then uh, at that corner is a resting space it's also where they have a very short introduction on Singapore's water loop uh, telling us where the water comes from, how we collect the water and you know uh, what do we do with the water after we collect it like desalination, we store it or we transfer it, transform it into new water yeah so it's pretty interesting so far which one? Okay. The local, so there are four national taps as mentioned. So the first one is actually uh, the local water catchment. So there has water from local catchment. And apparently there are 17 reservoirs in Singapore that helps to store our water. So let's go to the one that we are most familiar with. It's called the lowest little reservoir. It's very near to where we stay. And you know, it will introduce you some of the uh, key structures that are there. So they have very interesting bridges. Uh, and they are done up very well, like the Jurong Lake has got this Chinese pagoda so there's a Chinese and Japanese garden uh, at, along the boundary of the man-made freshwater lake so it gives you an introduction about the reservoirs and then... that one? that one? Oh, okay, you can see the game in action oh. so it's uh, supposed to collect rubbish you are also supposed to collect water droplets. So we have come to the end of the tour. Over here is actually the commitment wall where we are shown one last video and we are also free to make a My Water Pledge. So it's your pledge as to how you want to take that extra step to help to save water for Singapore. Okay, so uh, it's an interactive platform once again. You can actually choose your frame. Okay, maybe I choose the one with water wally and then uh, choose your pledge. Uh, scroll to select. Okay, so okay, so maybe I will say I will not let the water run while washing my hands, and then I will enter my name. Then my A, and then I will take a photo. Confirm. Talk. If you are shorter, you can go to another monitor, so it will be better for your height. Talk. Our tour guide is Stella and she is very knowledgeable, helpful, friendly, exhibits are interesting of a good variety and very user friendly so the overall experience is extremely satisfactory. Yay! Okay. It's still sending. Uh, Sean, S H A U N. It's okay, lah. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be there.